Yo, what is up guys? It's Bankrupt Dope. Back again with another video. And today we are back on some Honkai Star Rail. Now I know I was supposed to be this funny because I said like I literally have a video on my channel talking about how I'm about to be doing a progression. The thing is I have videos recorded of like the progression, but I just haven't uploaded them, so they will be getting uploaded here soon. But your boy just recently got a new car. I've never, I've never owned a car, like, uh, you know, a purchase car. I've had, like, an old car, a 1998 Volvo, that I bought my first car. So I've just been busy with all of that. My mom's starting a non-profit, and so I've been helping her with that. It was just a lot happening over the course of the past couple of days since I dropped that video, which is why it's been absent of content. But we're going to come back on this game first before we, you know, hop over. We transition back over to Zone Zone Zero, because Zone Zone Zero... Unfortunately, it's been in the same spot that it has been since release and the same spot that all Mihoyo games go into. And it's just dead until they make content where I can fight something. You know, I don't really find much enjoyment in, you know, anything else that's not fighting. Like, it's kind of just, you know, I'm just existing in the game. Kind of like I'm doing with the uh, March, you know, 7th thing. Like, I'm doing it, but it's not like I enjoy it. You know, I know I'm getting free item lines and I'm getting Stellar Jade, but like, I don't actually enjoy it. It's just... I'm doing it because rewards. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's where I am right now with these games. You know, I'm kind of just playing them. Neither one of them is truly grabbing my attention or anything right now. But the point of today's topic is this girl you and me right here. And this is, a, I want to I open up a discussion. I want us to talk, right? Because I thought about something for the character. I thought about, like, maybe I should pick up you and me. But there's also the fact that there's that other fire character coming out later that's going to be pretty good for Acheron, like very good for Acheron. So the question becomes, should like, like how, how do you determine when you're, how you summon for characters? Let me click that button again. How do people determine how they pull for characters? I'm very curious to know, right? It's funny because I uploaded a video like talking about MOC 12 being easy, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, somebody got mad. You know, everybody's talking about, oh, well, it's easy because you have easy background, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't mean the game is, that means the game, but yes, the game is easy. Let's just make it very clear. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw it back out there right now. The game is hard due to you having a lack of resources and characters included in that. that that's how they get you. you. You don't have the resources to build your character in terms of traces. You don't have the resources to have the right relics. You don't have the characters, which is another resource. You're missing three different sets of resources that make it vital for characters to be viable. And with you missing all those, it makes the content undoable a lot of times until you then gain the resources to clear it, right? It was just funny because that guy in my video was all like, how about you go ahead and build a team without Akron and Firefly and beat the content? No. I'm not going to start investing a gang of resources into characters that I'm not going to use. Like every now and then I might I revisit and I try to like I lightly tap at my older characters but like it's just a waste of resources right there is no like if I have to hyper invest in stuff then sure but if I don't why would I which is why I summon for all my that that's why I summon for so many characters generally now not so much because I, I you know I'm spread thin across gotchas but when I was focused on just Star Rail yes I was picking up every character banner because I'm not I'm not going to be restricted in, Wanna spar? you know, air quotes, challenged by content because I don't have characters. I think that's dumb. It's, it's not actual difficulty. It's just playing on the fact that I don't have the characters. And, like, the reason we're talking about Yun Lee, right, is because do you pull characters for typings or what are they doing? Like, like how do people determine what they're pulling characters for? That's what I want to know. Like, you, person who's watching video, let me know what you pull characters for. I pull characters because I like collecting, right? Like I like the idea of having all the characters and playing with all the characters. It's very fun to me. I think what makes a gacha game good in an actual gacha game is the actual usage of characters, right? I think it is more on the side of usage and play rate of characters than everything and then than everything else, right? Like some people might disagree. You know, I think that the Gen not the Genshin, but the Mihoyo verse community is very much on the side of, you know, they kind of you kind of just take whatever you get. But I think when you get to people that play other kinds of gacha games that are more mobile style, it is very much the enjoyment is very much in the pulling system of the character and then using the character. I feel like we kind of miss that a lot of times in Mihoyo games because 
your your usage of the character is restricted by your relics and things like that. So it leads to, you know, characters that just never get used. You know what I mean? That even when you try to collect them, you don't use them. So in a way, you know, it's kind of dumb to continue to try to collect a roster that just won't get the light of day. You know what I mean? But let's just take it over to M MOC real quick, right? Like, we go over to MOC and it's all like, hmm, how do I clear MOC, right? And you just look at what's, what's the type of the month, right? It's mostly fire and physical. Now, if we take a look at my roster, right? You look at my fire and physical. How many fire physical characters do I have that can deal damage? Right? Robin does not do damage. Clara requires her to get hit to do damage. And it's funny because this first phase right here is so irritating because this guy doesn't attack. So it's kind of just cooked, you know? It's, it just doesn't really work. And it even kind of happens here where you're just not getting attacked as much as you want. Topaz, maybe. Himiko, maybe. And then you're down to four stars on my account, right? I don't have, um, what's the deal with the gun? You know the guy I'm talking about, um, Mr. Pew Pew guy. I don't have him. And obviously I don't have Yun Lee. I don't have a, a in my opinion, a viable, D, a viable physical DPS, right? Yes, I can hyper invest in the Clara like you can do with every character in this game to make them viable. You can do it with everybody, right? But at the end of the day, it still, it still does rely on, you know, RNG and your relic department, all that stuff. And it gets to the point where you're putting more resources in older characters than you would newer characters, right? It's just, it's just how the game goes. To reach that threshold of damage for older characters, you, you're having to invest a lot versus newer characters because their multipliers are just higher, you know, their skills and things are just different. They're just quite literally just built different from those, you know, 1.0 characters. They just are. So it's like, I can invest in Clara and throw all my resources at it, or I can pull Yun Lee, right? And I can feel my physical problem right now by pulling her. And truthfully, if I pull Yun Lee, I have all DPSs for all types that I will ever need at this point. But then there's the other side of the coin, right? Nice. I don't need any more DPSs. Why? Because I have two DPSs that are probably going to carry me through the game for probably the longest. My... I gotta say it because you know, you know, people go crazy. My E6 Acheron, which doesn't matter, right? Wanna know why it doesn't matter? Because just having Acheron is clearing you the game. Let's <laughs> keep it a band. Because people who like in my old in my last video were complaining about oh it's E6 Acheron, by the way. It literally doesn't matter because I've seen people with far weaker like Eidolon less with E0 or E1 Acheron do more damage than my Acheron now. Because they went through the relic grind, you know, they kept farming those relics you know they got the good relic pops and so the Akron's stats are just better than mine period regardless of Eidolons right so everybody wanted to keep saying that oh the only reason I beat is because I beat Akron that, that's not the case it's just Akron's just a great character and you know, I mean you'd be a little bit of a fool if you skipped this character now, if you couldn't pull her you know that sucks but if you skipped it that just didn't make sense you know people talking about how she's gonna fall off she ain't falling off for a long time she might fall off but it ain't gonna be for any time soon so let's go ahead and get that out of there, right? And then we also have Firefly over here. Firefly implants the fire, you know, weakness on the enemy, especially when you um, activate her ult and everything. But the enemies have to be broken, right? And so obviously you're running a very specific team with the Harmony MC and um, Renmei and then, you know, whatever, like a sustainer or whatever. And actually, I'm probably going to run this team with... um. March 7th, you know, and try a team like that and just see what happens. But these two technically make up for my physical DPS problem, right? And it's going to be funny because in three patches that's coming up, right, I'm going to probably make another video talking about how MOC 12 is easy and I'm going to be running Firefly and Acheron again. Somebody's going to complain about, oh, wow, it's because you use Firefly and Acheron. And at that point, these characters are months old. They're still clearing the same content with a whole new rate up character on banner, right? Kind of proving my point that the game isn't hard. Like, you can just choose select characters and build them. And the guy who said this, right, he talked about how he cleared this in like 
two cycles or three or four cycles and very low amount of cyclage with Clara and some other character. I can't remember who as he said. So you kind of prove my point for me that the game isn't difficult. You could just really invest in any one singular character or a certain set of characters and clear everything. Like It's just how the game goes. And the same here applies here. So it's all like, yes, I can go ahead and pull for this character right here to fulfill the physical DPS that I am missing. Or I can save for fire, dude, to improve Acheron team, which is a team that I know I will continue using. A team that can overwrite my physical problem. You know what I mean? It's kind of like you're brute forcing the problem in a way. That's how a lot of people like to say, oh, you're brute forcing. I can brute force my problem because Acheron's ignoring the typeage anyway and same, same as Firefly. So why grab a physical DPS when I just have these two characters that just ignore that? All right. And I think that's, that's kind of how you have to think about it to some degree. So it's like rather than pivoting to a whole nother archetype or a whole nother set of characters to now invest in, I'll just wait for the Acheron support and build the Acheron support to make her team better and just go about it like that. Rather than wasting my stiller jade to get the physical DPS who I probably won't use that more often. Like, I'll probably use her today. Like, I'll probably use her for this month. Chances are she's going to get pushed out and I'm not going to use her anymore because I prefer the Firefly and Acheron team and, and um, damage over time team. We're just waiting for more damage over time, honestly. And then, you know, that's when my damage over time will come back. But until then, you know, we got to rock it how we rock it. But I digress. Yun Lee. She getting skipped. I don't know what to say. She's getting skipped. So we got 16 days to build up some more Stellar Jade to hopefully get Fire Dude whenever he drops. And she's cool and all. I mean, they don't get it twisted, right? I think if you are missing the physical DPS and you can't clear MOC because of the physical problem, then maybe you should pick her up. But at the end of the day, we don't know how they're going to do the next patches of MOC. So maybe the physical problem disappears almost immediately and we won't see physical, like the specific typing of physical and fire for a while. But then again, we might see it for the next five patches. Who knows? You know, at the end of the day, I mean, there probably is a pattern to it. And I don't feel like looking at it, but you know, if there is a pattern, you can go find it. If there's not a pattern, there's no way to know how many more times we're going to have the fire or the physical problem. And there's going to be points where you're getting in a fight and you just can't clear because you don't have Akron, you don't have Firefly. And so now you're just stuck because you don't, you can't play on tight. You know what I mean? But I'm pretty sure at that point you have Akron, right? You have Akron or Firefly. I just don't believe that you have neither one. Comment down below if you have neither one. I'm very curious to know who has not neither Akron or Firefly and then tell me why. Because I don't quite understand why you wouldn't have either one unless you're new. Then I can understand it. But if you are a person who's been playing the game since day one or even, you know, a couple months in. Let me know if you don't have her because that will just blow my mind. And I want to know why you don't have her. Either one of them, by the way. That's error. But that's really all I got to say. Skipping Yun Lee. But are you skipping her? And why? That's the main point. Why are you skipping Yun Lee if you're going to go ahead and skip? All right. Real simple. Most simple task. That's all I got for y'all. Thanks for watching if you watched. I don't know if you liked it. Comment something down below. And I'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Nice.